Deontay Wilder came out and gave his thoughts on his loss to Tyson Fury after he had a day or two to reflect back on the loss. He stated, and I quote, He didn't hurt me at all. My uniform was way too heavy for me. I didn't have no legs from the beginning of the fight. Now nah, Deontay Wilder followed up by stating that the costume weights 40 pounds plus. So he did it because of Black History Month. He wanted to represent, but it ended up costing him because it was too heavy. He was wearing it for up to 20 minutes. So by the time the fight began, he was already tired of carrying all the extra weight. Also on that same report, Kevin from Yahoo Sports stated that just got some information Wilder did not have a broken jaw as some have speculated nor did he have a broken eardrum. He had a two centimeter cut in his ear that took seven stitches to close it up. Now of course on split decision I talked about that and I want to clear her up. I did say it was a busted eardrum because I'm not a prophet. I don't know the unknown. So from the outside looking in, when his ear was bleeding, I thought he busted his eardrum. And I'm not talking about he busted his eardrum listening to Tyson Fury singing after the fight. And I just want to clear that up. I stay to be incorrected. With that being said, it wasn't a busted eardrum. However, the point remains, it bothered him during the fight. And since they had to get up to seven stitches to close it up, you know it affected Deontay Wilder. That's why it looked like his jaw was almost broke from the outside looking in. Wilder was also upset at a trainer for throwing in the towel. Wilder was unhappy that Berlin stopped the fight. His head trainer, Jay Dees, had criticized Berlin at the post-fight news conference. Wilder specifically told his trainers not to throw in the towel no matter what because he always feel like he has a chance because he has that one-headed quitter. And if y'all saw our live reaction on Aki TV, I told y'all that Wilder is the type of fighter that wants to go out on his shield. So I knew he wasn't cool with that stoppage. However, it was his own team that stopped the fight, even though he threw a punch when the referee stopped the fight, but it was his corner. With that being said, I believe the corner did the best for Wilder because, of course, he was looking out for Wilder health. However, Wilder, on the other hand, he's just too much of a warrior. He'd rather go out on his back than be saved by his own team. Deontay Wilder followed up by stating that he will be looking to fire his trainer that did so. And in the process, he's actually going to push for the third fight since he has a rematch clause and he wants the trilogy fight. So, ladies and gentlemen, just like I told y'all, Deontay Wilder has too much heart and he will run it back. So, with that being said, Deontay Wilder congratulated Tyson Fury for the victory. He stated, and I quote, I'm super happy for Tyson Fury. I really want to give him my complete congratulations, Deontay Wilder said. He also followed up by saying he had a lot of great accomplishments in his career. And this is right there with all of them. I'm very excited about his career and what he has done. He deserves a lot of credit. And I co-sign Wilder 100% because Fury, he dethroned two kings. And that's Klitschko and Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder had 10 title defenses. Klitschko was a reigning champion for like a decade or so. With that being said, Fury fought both of them and came out on top. Wilder also followed up by saying the referee told me specifically that if I hit him in the back of the head or hit him on the break, he will disqualify me. But I guess that was only directed toward me because he allowed Fury to do those things. That's the only thing that bothered me of everything. With that being said, Deontay Wilder has a chance to rewrite the wrong and complete the unfinished chapter between him and Tyson Fury. In my humble opinion, Deontay Wilder shouldn't have brought up the costume factor because he has a chance 
to fight Tyson Fury for a trilogy match and a third time and rewrite the wrong. So there's no point of making excuses. That's just my humble opinion. However, I wasn't the person that was wearing the costume for like 20 minutes that weights 40 pounds or more. So only Deontay Wilder know what's up. So if he's being honest to himself, that's the main thing. So with that being said, we have a trilogy match on our hand. I remember the time when they rode off Anthony Joshua against Ruiz. They say he was done and he proved the world wrong. And that's exactly what they doing to Deontay Wilder today. I mean, even back in the day, they did it to Sugar Ray Leonard. They did it to all the greats. So Deontay Wilder has a chance to redeem himself. And this time he will know Tyson Fury is not capping when he's saying he's going to come forward and apply pressure. So he should be better prepared. He has six stitches done to cover up the cut he had or suffered in his ear, which uh, that's a huge factor in the fight because after the third round, he never recovered. He was off balance the whole time. His equilibrium seemed to be off, similar to Anthony Joshua's situation when he got hurt by Andy Ruiz. However, the key and the main difference is that it was a Ruiz. Deontay Wilder has Fury problems. And I believe Fury is the best heavyweight today. I mean, he proved it. I don't got to tell you that. So it's a harder comeback for Deontay Wilder than it was for an AJ because AJ, he had to clean up the mess he made against Ruiz. On the other hand, Deontay Wilder versus Fury, it was the number one heavyweight versus the number two heavyweight. So that's a harder fight to bounce back from. With that being said, Deontay Wilder wants to run it back. So ladies and gentlemen, we have a trilogy match in our hand. So Deontay Wilder will be looking to make his return. I feel like some of the things he should have just left out, stayed solid, focus on the trilogy match, focus your energy in training camp and on the strategy instead of promoting the fight and just shock the world, then talk about it. That's just my humble opinion. We're going to talk more so on this on Split Decision, me and Professor Nam. So I'm going to leave it for that. For the meantime, drop your comments below. Let me know y'all thoughts and what y'all think about what Deontay Wilder had to say. It's one thing if Deontay Wilder said all of this and didn't want the trilogy match. But because he wants the trilogy match and he's pushing for it, I believe he should have left all of this out and just prove people wrong on the trilogy match. Because at the end of the day, old media is about to have a field day with this one and they about to cook him up. Furthermore, as far as his trainer, I believe he could still keep his trainer, just don't make him the head coach. And you could also add a trainer at any time to fix some of the mistakes that Deontay Wilder was making during the fight. And that's as simple as keeping his hand down, especially that right hand. It gave Tyson Fury so many openings from throwing the hooks to setting Deontay Wilder for the one, two and all of the above. So them simple fundamental mistakes really cost Deontay Wilder the fight and a simple adjustment for Deontay Wilder, such as exchanging with Tyson Fury since he has that one hit a quitter. For example, when Tyson Fury throws the hook, Deontay Wilder should have automatically thrown the right hand, the straight right, especially from the distance. Or even when Tyson Fury threw the jab, Wilder should have exchanged with the right hand. And you can always take a jab for a right hand, especially when it's Deontay Wilder since he has that one hit of quitter. And we all know all it takes is one, but it takes that right one the one that has to land the right way. So with that being said, Deontay Wilder could always add members to the team without firing anybody. I know his trainer made the mistake, even though he was looking out for Deontay Wilder health. However, Deontay Wilder felt otherwise because he felt like he got that one hit of quitter. And we all know ain't no quitting in Deontay Wilder, but he was looking out 
for Deontay Wilder because Deontay Wilder, the type of fighter that has too much heart. So drop your comments on that. We're going to talk more so about it on Split Decision, episode 24. And it's the final round and the final episode. And we're going to complete two fights where Aki still undefeated. Aki knocking out all these decaf, a.k.a. dumbass casual fans. Aki even knocked out his bro ski, Professor Nin. He laid out bleeding. So with that being said, hopefully Professor Nim recover by the next episode. Tune in, call in, all the decafs and all of the aboves. With that being said, subscribe below if you're trying to get smart about the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't and listen to these decafs, aka dumbass casual fans slash whole media. Of course, shout out to New Media and Dante for starting the new media wave and being the entrepreneur for that. Big shout out also to Luna Tune. That's my bro Ski. Follow him on Instagram. I will leave his link in the description box below. He has the funniest boxing memes. So follow my bro Ski and keep it a G and follow him on IG and follow me too at Aki TV. All these links will be in the description box below. Also cop the Aki merch. I appreciate every single one of my Aki's. Obviously all the casual fans, if y'all wanna be hardcore, all y'all have to do is attend the Aki University every Sunday live on Split Decision. It's a boxing debate slash talk show. First of its kind exclusively on Aki TV. So click on the notification bell to get notified every time we post or go live on split decision every sunday with that being said i appreciate every single one of my achis it stands for my brother and this is the boxing brotherhood and to be continued on the next episode of achi aki ak tv peace and we out here.